Hi, Philip. This is Rob from the Business Alliance Group. I'm doing. How are you doing today? Um, I think somebody here talked to you about the public adjuster stuff, um, information the other day. That'll be your weekend project, huh? Yeah, it's, a, it's that uh, public chart of the Senate bill. The, the one you got to really look for, because I had to talk to the roofer a few minutes ago concerning it, is it's on page three, uh, towards the bottom. It's Article 62-6-605. And it's probably the smallest paragraph in the whole thing. But it's probably the one of the most damaging to the roofers because it's the one that tells you you must hold a valid public adjuster license in accordance with that Title 56, Chapter 6, Part 9. Um, and I'm going to tell you that Title 56, Chapter 6, point Part 9, that goes reference another law concerning public adjusters. So when you see that, that's only part of what you're looking at there. So, do you... Uh, basically, once you become a public adjuster, so you can represent the insured. And yeah, you're right. It's an impediment to the roofing contractors. There have, and, and part of it's also a control factor with the insurance companies. You know, do, do you do a lot of uh, residential? So yeah, you're impacted. How many, how many folks do you have that do the sales and all that? Right. The public adjuster's license. Right, and so it says because it is an individual license. So, you know, every person that comes in contact discusses with it. Um, what who doesn't have to have a license? Like, um, I don't know if you have a, like a office manager, somebody in the office who all it does is compact. You know, they may put together the exactimate estimates or the stuff points or whatever. If they're just doing the administration side of it, and they may just call an adjuster and say, "Hey, this is coming your way," they don't need to be licensed. Well, the cost, well, what we provide is a test prep class so you can pass the public adjuster's test. And we're just test prep. We're going to teach you how to pass the test. Have you already, you know how to pass the test? Have you seen the, have you seen the book? <laughs> okay. You, you have, uh, from the state of Texas? Okay. That's not the same. <laughs> Afraid not. Okay. Is that the one they gave you three hours to take or whatever online and all that? Yeah. My, my uh, business partner's got the same thing through Texas. So, so the public just all we do is we'll take the time and we'll make sure that you, well, we'll guarantee you'll pass the test if not, you need to come take the class again. But in about a five or six hour time frame, we'll go through what's on the test. Per person, depends on how many you've got. Three, it's five hundred dollars per person. Price break is at five. Good. Yeah, it, it's. Yeah, and we'll discuss that in class as far as what's required after that point. Okay, I'll tell you, um, if you try to do an online class, uh, I did that first, and you'll have a lot of information, and you're not sure what you're going to have to actually study for. So, you, you, can, you can absorb that and take two or three months to try to take the thing, or you get through it in five hours.
Okay. We're all fanning up bikes. Now, where are you located? Barfield, Barfield Crescent area over there. Okay. Yeah, I used to have a project manager used to live over that way, so. Okay. All right. Well, tell you what, we'll follow up next week with you, and we'll see where you're at with this whole thing. If you got any more questions, give us a call. We'll try to help you get, navigate through it. Um, because most of it doesn't, you know, most people don't understand what it's got to be to be licensed. All right, thanks, Phil.